This video walks you through how to create an assignment using the assignment tool. Uh, the assignment tool is accessible here on the left. If you click this, it brings you to the assignment tool. And if you click up here in the upper right hand corner where it says plus assignment, that's add assignment. You can go ahead and provide the information you need here. Give your uh, instructions. This might be, uh, you know, read pages 37 to 52. This could be instructions on what they're to do after they do the reading. If you scroll down the page, uh, if you're using this as a grade book, you can go ahead and give it points. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is 100 points. Um, if you're using assignment groups, this is a way that you can uh, group your assignments based on the categories. Uh, this is very useful if you're using the grade book. If you're not using the grade book then you, at the moment, then you won't need the uh, assignment groups, so just leave it as assignments. Uh, points. Uh, submission type. And you want to decide how they're going to turn this in. If they turn it in online, uh, text entry will give them a box that they can type or copy and paste the information into. A website URL. This is a, an option to provide a URL from an outside link that they can uh, submit. You can have them do media recordings. These media recordings can be uploaded or, uh, depending on how you write the assignment, created directly in uh, in Canvas, and then you can do file uploads. Uh, there is the option to restrict the upload file types. I would encourage you probably not to use that. We are a face-to-face -face school, so there's very little use of that particular feature for us. In this particular case, I'm simply going to say that it's going to be a text entry. But to see what your other options are as well, you could click this drop-down arrow, and you could say that you want them to turn it in on paper or an external tool. And these are uh, tools that you might uh, be running an app plugging into, into Canvas uh, for some tool that you might be using. And if they have an app for it, this is a way that you can go ahead and link to that. Um, if you are not uh, asking it to be submitted on, uh, through electronically, uh, simply do the on paper. If, on the other hand, you are using this as a grade book as well, and you want to keep track of those assignments that you're giving that uh, do not have a grade associated with them. Perhaps it's a reading. They just need to read prior to coming to class. Use the no submission. That means there won't be any grades actually associated with that. So you can go ahead and, and ignore the points and all of that information. For our example today, I'm going to be using online. Um, you do have the option of making this a group assignment doing peer reviews. If you're interested in that, there's more information available elsewhere on that. You can see me directly um, or take a look at uh, the help guides where I provided some additional information on those pieces. Here, uh, in this case, if I wanted to assign this to uh, different sections of classes, and I, in this example I don't have that set up, but I would simply click here and I would see the sections that uh, I teach down below and I can go ahead and choose to select uh, to give this particular assignment to a particular section with certain assigned dates. The available date lets you know when the, the, uh, the assignment is available. So I will make this available starting on Monday and the students will have uh, until the 20th whoops, to, to work on that. Now that just means that that's when the uh, the assignment is actually available to them. You can actually leave this blank if you want. That's purely up to you. The date that you do need to put in though is a due date. So in this case I'm going to make it due on the 20th. So it's no longer available to them at the end of the day on the 20th. At the same time it's also due at that point. And I will just simply go ahead and save and publish. Now if you save, remember you do have to go back later and publish it when you're ready to go. So I'll say save and publish and I've now created an assignment. So you can create these actually fairly quickly, um, especially if you create what's called an assignment shell, which means that you don't actually have any instructions in there, you just give it a name. You may or may not even have the date uh, picked for it yet, but you're just kind of blocking things out, uh, blocking out your course. So that is how you create an assignment in Canvas.